Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we discovered that Amaz is really bad at lying, but people believe him anyway. In this episode, we are going to cover one of the uh, first steps to getting overpowered. And to do that, we are going to need the assistance of a new student. As such, I am going to have Commander Video here create a new character. Let's see, we are going to make a level 1 Valkyrie. Sure, let's, uh, let's sidetrack by uh, taking votes. Why the heck? I should have expected them to deny us, but that is okay, because we are at the point where we can persuade people by force. We are just that good. Are, of course, drunk as usual. Uh, actually, we might need Shenlong here to help us. That works. Here we can uh, kind of finally see the, uh, the Bastios in action, except they moved, so their ability did not come into play. That's just fine, though. Alright, we have our Valkyrie. Let's see, what will I name her? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Brilliant. Alright, weapon forte. Sword, spear, and bow. Their ability, assault attack. Damage increased by number of panels moved. Not bad. And they are they specialize in attack and defense. Okay. Leave it to me. Go. There. You don't have to go hold back cuz I'm a girl. It's my style to be fighting up to the very front lines. Yeah. yeah. Let's all be good friends. All right. So, Undyne We are going to ditch class now. And we will also be returning to the Corpse Eaters map. As you can see, the layout has changed a little bit. We now have a, uh, a uh, 9 by 9 or 3 by 3 grid of champignons, and they are sitting on double EXP panels. That being said, what you need for this strategy is you need to have Mal learn a Vasa Airgun, which we've already done. That's kind of a necessity to get to this point. You need a unit that can throw five tiles or more. Now, what do we do with this? We place Mal in between the red and uh, yellow geo panels and have him use Vasa Airgun here. It doesn't matter if you don't kill them in one hit, as long as they uh, don't come running towards you, which is easier said than done, honestly, but... Well, they'll be helping you uh, grind for EXP this way. When you've gotten to the point where you can do like 30% uh, of their... 130% of their health in one hit, that's when you uh, pass a stronger enemies bill in the uh, classroom. I'm going to do four of those just now, just for a uh, demonstration purposes. Be seated. Okay, I am back. And whoops. As you can see, the enemy rank is 4, and uh, those of you playing on the PS3 version, you'll know you've got the right enemy rank when the strongest, stronger enemy's cost is 300 mana. That being said, let's get out of here. Now, what we are going to do is... Actually, I am going to reincarnate Mal as well. 
for no particular reason, just because. Let's raise his attack. And as you can see, that kind of uh, boosted his abilities a little bit. Wonderful. I may have already mentioned that before, but that is how we are doing this. And of course, Mao also has a pretty dang powerful attack. Now, the next step is... When you have a sufficiently powerful Mal to be able to take out these enemies in one hit, you're going to want to change seats. Let's see, what do I want here? What was I doing? I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> I was, that's because I was looking at the wrong uh, set of dudes. Let's put Mao here, or in the corner research group, and surround him with honor students, or the true robber store. Let's go into assign club and put Almaz, Lucius, and Pingu here on the uh, honor students. We're also going to put Undyne here on the honor students and change her seat to be adjacent to Mao. This setup will be for grinding experience for four people. If you want to grind experience for two people, I recommend uh, putting Mal in the corner here, assigning him the corner research group, and putting two honor students on either side of him. That'll get a 25% uh, stronger uh, experience for uh, two units plus Mal. Now that that's been taken care of, we are going to go back into Corpse Eaters, and we will observe that all of the enemies are level 99. 99 is a special number in uh, Disgaea, because level 99 uh, units, due to the exper due to a quirk of the experience formula, give experience about on the level of a level 323 unit. Levels between 100 and 322 give less experience than a level 399 unit or then a level 99 unit, so keep this in mind when you are grinding, and always look for the map that gives you level 99 enemies. Now, observe Mal's level here at level 1. He has 3,562 attack, hopefully this will be enough to finish it. And indeed it was, he jumped up to level 74 right away. That should give you an idea of the potential of grinding against level 99 enemies, especially if they are on double experience panels. Now, I'm going to finish up here. here I go. That, was, that was not quite what I was expecting, but okay. <laughs> oh jeez, did I survive? I survived that, but now Mao is asleep. Way to go. Let's, uh... Let's throw in our cleric and, uh, get some help here. Dear God. Dear God. That is how we are doing this. Now, if we check our unit's status, we can see that... What? Did I do something wrong? Yes, I did! <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. Where's Pingu? Where did I put him? Oh, yes. Alright, let's try that again.
All right, you can probably see there that I unlocked the Archer and Lady Warrior classes. Lady Warrior is just the next rank of Valkyrie, and for an Archer, you need a level 15 Valkyrie and Female Cleric. That being said, look how high Undyne's level jumped up. She'll be perfectly caught up with the rest of the party if you are, uh, only grinding on Mal here. That is the power of level 99 enemies. That being said, while you are grinding, you should be building up quite a lot of money. And if you continue to uh, pass the stronger uh, items bills at the uh, classroom assembly, then you'll be able to buy better and better weapons. Uh, the weapon I have equipped to Mal right now is the Demon Slasher? But, as it turns out, the, uh, Tragedy Hatchet is actually the, uh, highest rank item you can buy at the shop. Costs about 4 million health, maybe more if your Honor Quotient is not quite as high, or if you were playing the, uh, PS3 version. There's also such things as the, uh, Luminous Bow here, which I'm going to see if I... I already have one of those, okay. Alright, and the Gravity Knuckle is the uh, strongest rank fist. You are going to want to pick up one of those as well. Uh, potentially leveled up through the item world, and you will have a uh, unit that can take on that kind of a uh, thing in one hit. Well. Now for part two of our uh, theory here. We are going to assign the robber shop to our uh, to our four surrounding units here. This will make it so that uh, any mal any mana that Mal earns killing enemies will be uh, duplicated onto the uh, onto the robber shop students. They get 50% of the mana that Mal earns, but Mal will earn full mana regardless. You can use this to uh, teach attacks to the. Uh, units that are in the robber store. That being said, I am going to heal up at the nurse's office, and I'm going to go through that map again just to uh, demo this for you. Actually, I want to check something on Mao here. Alright, he does not in fact know Big Bang, which is fine. Big Bang is a... This is the wrong map. Um, but, well this is embarrassing. I guess I'm just gonna have to do this map. <laughs> oh well. It's a pretty simple map. Uh, what you have here is a trail of geo panels. You're going to want a very high uh, move unit here because these red geocubes will make uh, anybody standing on it, that is, any enemy standing on it, level up by 10% at the end of the turn. So? Obviously this is bad, because uh, you do not want these guys to level up to be uh, ridiculously powerful. It's just not a thing you want to have happen. Especially since they are starting at a uh, level like 80-something, because I didn't reset the uh, enemy bell. Chalk it up to my incompetence. <laughs> but yeah, to get uh, units around the stage quickly, you want to stay on the yellow Geocube, because those are move plus one. Obviously I'm just disregarding this though, and just kind of smashing everything. You know, like a badass. Also, wow, that is a new attack. <laughs> that was kind of a thing that happened, I have got to say. You're gonna take out these guys. This is an Ifrit. Attack increased by number of critical hits occurred times 10%. You want to take those guys out quickly. 
These are their attacks. Again, pretty dangerous. Magic change type is sword. And they specialize in attack. But we are going to take them out because this was not meant to happen. Fox Tenson is uh, giving me tips on Dragon Quest VII, the remake of which just came out yesterday at the time of this recording. Alright, we are going to do the actual map here that I wanted to have done. We are going to throw Mao again and uh, continue to do things that will build up our mana. And at the same time, get a whole bunch of extra levels for Mao. Hello. My dad is in my room borrowing my pillow. <laughs> And there we go. Kind of have a bunch of uh, things here that I could sell or use as brides. But if we go into our status, we can see that uh, Undyne now has 459 mana. That's good. Because it means we can reincarnate her as a fourth rank uh, martial artist, the Viper Fighter. I'm going to make him a bo I'm going to make her a Boulevard Fighter though, just because the stats are better. Now, obviously, this takes more mana, but that shouldn't really matter too much. Now, we are going to uh, continue doing this, and actually this time I will uh, substitute Commander Video for Mal, just to kind of show you where this is going. Just uh, economizing on time here. Where is Commander Video? There he is. And we're just going to big bang these guys, just kind of economize on time here by killing all the monsters in a single turn without even uh, taking another unit out of the base. We're going to do this a couple of times until uh, I feel like Undyne's mana is sufficient. I got Ben 10. <laughs> gonna use the spear to turn into a bunch of aliens. Alright, that should be good enough. Now, if we take a look at Undyne's mana, we can see that he has 2,232 mana. Which is excellent, because now we can go into the ability shop and learn a new skill. Big Bang, it takes 4,800 mana, which means it will uh, be quite a while before uh, this happens. But the important part is that once you learn a special attack, it doesn't matter what class you change to. You will be able to use that special attack, as long as you have the right weapon equipped, in this case a fist. And once you have learned that and boosted up your uh, Big Bang a little bit, you will be able to grind this map on your own. And at that point, things just get all kinds of crazy.
Now, a quick note before I uh, let you guys go for this episode. If you'll notice, uh, Undyne's reincarnation costs went from 100 to 200. That is because generic units uh, double their reincarnation costs every time they reincarnate. It's kind of dumb, I'm not really sure why NIS decided to do this, but... This is why you want to have units start out as the uh, Viper Fighter, or the Boulevard Fighter, and uh, reincarnate from there. Now, I am going to make a uh, male cleric here, just because. Actually, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to delete Undyne. We, this was our demo character. We don't really have a need for him. That is why I'm just going to delete Undyne. That's all there really is to say. So, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.